Hey San Diego, welcome back to the Apartment Geek Weekly. I'm your host, Chris Robinson. The first official video with my reading bifocal glasses on, so now I can really be an official geek. <laughs> I was just a wannabe before. Um, this is a really interesting article and it talks about inflation and what kind of what we're seeing in the economy right now. Things seems like everything's going up price-wise. Um, airline tickets, uh, hotels, the cost of, of just goods and services, it's a, um, paint, um, obviously lumber is a huge issue. But it's, it's really interesting to see it. And this article that this gentleman named Peter Malouk um, wrote, and I'm gonna, we're gonna put it in as a PDF attachment. And I encourage people to read this because I'm familiar with inflation and deflation. And I, my major was business economics in Santa Barbara. And I actually really like this kind of stuff and understanding supply and demand. And this is really, was really cool because it, it started talking about disinflation, hyperinflation, transitory inflation, which I think we have some of that going on right now where it's kind of supply chain issues and that will probably tone down, well, i.e. the lumber, um, other, other things that are, are three or four times as high as they were a year ago. But generally, there's so much money out there that inflation is, is real. And we haven't really had in much inflation in the last several years. And I think this is really more of a reality coming um, for us in the next, in the coming months and years. And I wanted to talk about this and send this article out um, primarily because it's, it just offers really good clarity behind the definitions and it can get, it's gonna give some, some really good perspective, I think, on on what to expect but we're in apartment building investments and this is one of the best classes or asset classes that you can own in period it is they have we have short-term leases we have the ability to raise rents on on tenants we have rent control now with the state but we're not locked into these long-term leases so Apartment complexes is the perfect hedge against inflation because it allows us to keep up with, with um, basically the economy and raise rents and, and receive a higher rent in, in an inflationary market where the expenses and the mortgage and the property taxes more or less are gonna stay the same, especially if you have a, a fixed mortgage. Um, this could result in higher interest rates down the road, but that's all speculative. We don't really know what's gonna happen now or happen with, with interest rates, but they'll probably go up. Um, so I think it's important for people to look at their loans. Um, if they have something coming due in the next year or two years, if it's sooner on the timetable, look at refinancing. Um, if you like that asset and wanna really stick with it, um, because I can see rates going up in two, three, four, five years, um, especially if, with this, with what we think is gonna be inflation kind of across the board. And we, we also sell uh, with the firm um, some single tenant triple net uh, properties or investments. Uh, we probably do a handful of those a year. And those have long-term leases, so five, 10, 15, 20 years. And those are tricky, those are not really the best asset class in inflationary market because you're locked in with a lease and you're getting the same amount of dollars next year or in three years or five years they're very modest rent increases and apartments is just great because of the ability to raise the rents and we're seeing people start to make more money you see um, a lot of articles about McDonald's and Chipotle raising the, minute, the, the hourly to $15 and then myself and colleagues just in life restaurants and businesses around San Diego are starting to see a lot of signs where they're offering, they're, they're looking for help, for more help, and they're offering pretty surprisingly high hourly wages. I've just kind of been, it, it was really interesting to see that. So as people start making more money, it's gonna trickle down to the rental market and rents will go up. And the, the value of the dollar just simply will go down. And it's, it's, it's just such a great place to be. So if you're on the sidelines with cash, that's not where you want to be. You want to deploy that and you want to own real assets. And you and apartment complexes is ideal. 
And if you have loans, that's even more ideal because you're getting that debt and the debt is this extra hedge against inflation because you're borrowing, say, a million dollars today and that million dollars is going to be worth less in two years, three years, five years, seven years, whenever you pay that off or refinance it. So it is gold to buy apartment buildings. Now, even if, even with the prices that are high, I think things are just going to keep going up like this because simply that value, that dollar is going to go, is going down. So the purchasing power in the future is going to be a lot, um, you know, a lot less. So deploy the capital, get real estate, refinance if you have something coming up in the next couple of years. Um, debt is our, our friend in an inflationary market. And this article is really good. And I hope it kind of gives people some lever or some uh, perspective. And you know, there's you can you can make your own um, guess on what the future looks like. But I think um, I think we're going to continue to see um, inflation at a pretty steady rate, with some of the stuff tending uh, toning down when the whole COVID stuff works itself out and supply chains become more lubricated for lack of better words. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, we're gonna do a video in two weeks. We're taking next week off. And if you like these, um, subscribe, do all the stuff that, that helps us with these. Send them to uh, colleagues or friends or business partners. Um, and would love to see the, the amount of people just keep growing that um, hopefully can come away with some insights and a different perspective on things. So all the best. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, be well.